I wanted to give you a little visual here. I went and went to the store just before class and I went and got a, uh, a ping pong ball. And it might be a good thing, you know, to uh, just be able to visualize this. You can see how much of the white I'm seeing as that eye is rotating in its socket. I can go ahead and if I was looking up, I could tell whether I'm going to have maybe some white showing at the bottom or this is make, uh, you know, is not showing as much. If I'm looking down, I very well could see a little more white on the top showing. It's more exposed and that eyelid might be, uh, you know, covering it or not. But I really want to pay attention to that. And you, know, you can see that that iris is an ellipse. It's not an ellipse, it's round. But when I turn it, now we have the same thing that starts happening with perspective. And when we're wrapping, uh, you know, uh, detail and features, we're wrapping a face, we're wrapping all the skin tissues and everything around round things, this is the kind of effect it's going to have. And this helps us understand that we have depth, dimension, perspective, and then we have the opportunity to uh, do lights and darks that are going to help us even further. We can have clean edges that are going to help us even further. That's why I want to be able to know exactly where those clean edges are. And are they? Are they actually clean edges or can I see in and out of a contour? Well, this the edge of this eye is definitely a clean edge. That's because even though I have uh, the rest of, you know, the this other side of her eye that I can't see, this eye is now blocking part of the view. I can't see the tear duct or anything. And you can kind of understand how this is happening. If it was a pure profile, you can see what I was talking about a little bit ago. Look at how that would be. So we know several reasons that this isn't a profile. It's a profile in a generic sense of the word. But you can see that this right here is quite curved. So that means I'm starting to rotate from this, let me go over here, to something like that. And I know that that eyeball is, is uh, telling me a lot. And if I can see different things that should be hidden from my view on the other side, the little eyelashes here and the eyebrows here, and I start getting used to, uh, wow, when I look at something, I have a pretty good sense of what the angle I'm looking at, and I don't want to contradict that because everything goes together. Everything is affected by something else.